and welcome to The Watchmen. Well, it's been a tough eight years for America when it comes to foreign policy and national security. Under the Obama administration, we've seen the Middle East go up in flames, from Iraq to Syria to Libya and beyond. Iran and Russia are empowered and on the march. ISIS continues to strike and threaten Western capitals. And our allies, like Israel, feel distance from the United States. Folks, we need to reverse course badly. And my hope and prayer is that a change in leadership will do exactly that. In a few short weeks, we will have a new president of the United States. Donald Trump will take office on January 20th, 2017 as commander in chief and the early signs on his national security outlook are encouraging. He surrounded himself with individuals who have a clear understanding of our radical Islamic enemies and who are great friends and supporters of the state of Israel. People like Vice President-elect Mike Pence, a Bible-believing Christian who knows that Israel is the solution and not the problem when it comes to the madness of the Middle East. President-elect Trump has also selected Kansas Congressman Mike Pompeo to head up the CIA. Now, Pompeo is a respected authority on intelligence who has been a fierce critic of that disastrous Iran nuclear deal that we've told you about here on the show. The same goes for General Michael Flynn, who will serve as President Trump's top national security advisor, as well as Senator Jeff Sessions, who's been chosen to serve as Attorney General. Now, these are all encouraging signs, not only for America's security, but for the U.S.-Israel relationship. Here's Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. President-elect Trump, my friend, congratulations on being elected President of the United States of America. You are a great friend of Israel. Over the years, you've expressed your support consistently, and I deeply appreciate it. I look forward to working with you to advance security, prosperity, and peace. Israel is grateful for the broad support it enjoys among the American people. And I'm confident that the two of us, working closely together, will bring the great alliance between our two countries to even greater heights. Our team here at Christians United for Israel is well positioned to work closely with the Trump administration to strengthen the U.S.-Israel relationship. KUFI leaders have met with members of President-elect Trump's team, including Mike Pence, who's been a friend of KUFI for years, to discuss the importance of standing with Israel. Our team at KUFI will do everything we can to ensure that this administration is one that rewards America's friends and is tough on our enemies. So if you really want to make a difference for America and Israel, KUFI is the place to do it. We are America's largest pro-Israel organization with 3.3 million members nationwide. You see the information there on your screen. Become a member of KUFI today. Join our movement and put your faith into action for such a time as this. Well, one man who is doing exactly that is Gary Bauer, a former Republican presidential candidate and high-ranking official under President Ronald Reagan. Gary is now the Washington director of the KUFI Action Fund. The Action Fund is KUFI's legislative arm, working on Capitol Hill and in the halls of power to make a difference in D.C. I sat down with Gary recently to discuss what the Trump administration will mean for the U.S.-Israel relationship. Take a look. Well, Gary, it's been uh, an eventful eight years with the Obama administration for the U.S.-Israel relationship, but now there is a new team in town and President Trump will be taking office soon. Tell us your impressions of where the U.S.-Israel relationship will go now under a President Trump. Well, not to put too fine of a point on it, but there's only one direction left after the last eight years, and that's that the relationship between Israel and the United States will definitely get better. Uh, when Trump was running, I mean, there were multiple occasions when he really was very clear about what he thought about a lot of issues that under uh, President Obama have been, in my view, uh, severely mishandled, whether it was the status of Jerusalem or blaming the impasse in the Middle East on Israeli settlements or building homes for Jews in Jerusalem. Outrageous, you know. 
Um, so the, the, President Obama has been the most hostile president for, to Israel, in my view, since Jimmy Carter. And uh, I, I think the difference between what we've just lived through, what Israel and the Israeli people have had to experience, and what I think will happen under President Trump is really extraordinarily more positive under the new, the new team. Gary, do you think the Trump administration will take a tougher line towards Iran and, and towards ISIS and towards that jihadist threat? I think Donald Trump is a, a unique president, a unique president-elect. He, he fought virtually the entire American political establishment, even the establishment of his own party. So this is a man that knows how to take a punch and give a punch. And of course, if you're going to stand steadfast with Israel uh, against uh, the foreign policy establishment, against the United Nations, against the political left, against the professors on the university campuses, you're going to have to take punches and you're going to have to be willing to give punches. And I think he'll do that. And, and I think one of the first things to look for is how he treats this very ill-advised, ill-conceived deal that the Obama administration made uh, with Iran that has been great for Iran, but has been terrible for Israel, for the United States, for our allies, and quite fr frankly, for uh, those Arab allies that we have in the Middle East. Uh, another guy who's a very important cog, obviously, of the incoming Trump administration is Vice President-elect Mike Pence. Now, he's a guy you've worked closely with. Uh, tell us, he's a staunch supporter of Israel, we know that, and a Bible-believing Christian. Tell us a little bit more about Vice President-elect Mike Pence and the role he could play when it comes to Israel and security issues. I, I believe from what I've seen so far that uh, Vice President-elect Mike Pence will be perhaps the most powerful vice president in modern American history. Donald Trump has relied on him repeatedly for many really key assignments. Of course, he's been brought in to make this transition uh, work smoothly. The two men get along very well together. Uh, I understand there's even been a lot of conversation between the two of them about spiritual matters, which uh, will make, I think, a lot of Christians around the country uh, feel good. I, I saw a wonderful photo, by the way, of Donald Trump and Mike Pence praying together with Mrs. Pence uh, early in the campaign on, on one of the uh, campaign trips they were taking together. But I, I, I do know Mike Pence well, and, and he is pro-Israel, and, and that comes from two different strains of thought. One is his faith. He's a, a Christian Zionist. He believes there's a biblical mandate that calls for uh, us as Christians to support the Israeli people and the Jewish people. But in addition to that, he has sort of a Ronald Reagan view of the world, that uh, uh, free societies, free nations are always in danger, are always under threat that there's always the, the worry of the rising seas of totalitarianism. We've seen that in the Middle East. And, and so both this real politics sort of approach to foreign policy makes Mike Pence understand that Israel and the United States need to stand together. We're the two pillars of Judeo-Christian civilization. And then also that faith base, I think, really strengthens that uh, pro-Israel view that he has. Talk about what kind of impact KUFI and the Action Fund can potentially have under the Trump administration and the good things that you can, you're already doing but can go to another level perhaps under this administration. In this case, with the president-elect and vice president-elect and the people we see them bringing in, their mindset is already pro-Israel. And so we find ourselves in a position of not trying to turn the ship of state completely around but just providing additional information about why one approach or another might be better, or giving them information they may need to counter some of the pushback they're going to get and some of the criticism they will get. One of the things I've already noticed since the election is that people around the country that are pro-Israel and who previously were sort of despairing about what they could accomplish, all of a sudden they're on fire and they want to do everything they can. So we're going to have I think a very uh, strong, powerful grassroots presence right up there with some of the more uh, noteworthy American uh, groups that lobby here in Washington, D.C. And, and I think when all is said and done, that KUFI and the KUFI Action Fund really have an historic opportunity here uh, to help save Western civilization. Thanks, my friend. Keep up the great work here on Capitol Hill. You're welcome. Thank you, Eric.
coming up. We visit with an Israeli ambassador to hear his take on why the support of Christians is so important for Israel. It's the Watchman, it's Kufi, only right here on TBN. Don't move.